If you're a typical man and you're squeamish about periods, get over it, because periods aren't about women's bodies only. It's about women's health, and it's ultimately about women's education too. There's a non-profit organization which is working to try and keep young women going to school through the menstrual cycle in a way that will improve their education, improve their prospects, and hopefully make a small contribution to improving the outlook for South Africa. Sandra Miller is head of a non-profit organization. It's called Dignity Dreams. You're brand new. You've already be nominated by the Mail and Guardian for one of their awards processes. You're clearly making a big impact. You, you know, Bruce, um, I've been in the non-profit industry for 18 years and last year, at the end of last year, I had the opportunity to spend some time with, with young girls in CrossCorp, but really spend time. And we started chatting and I asked you know, school, boyfriends, homework, etc. And then I I started skirting around sexual activity and um, because I'm concerned and I, I can't remember how the conversation went from there but they told me that they're using socks, rags, um, newspaper, toilet paper for their periods and the sad thing is also that most of them don't have panties either. And I drove home and I thought, you know, I'm, I'm a very intelligent woman. How can I, how can this be happening? I, I, I'm, I'm in the non-profit world, but I suppose it's just one of those aha moments. I went home and I, I did a lot of research and um, a lot of pain also, you know, to, to get it going. And uh, we started selling in May. In May, we actually started uh, selling. Uh, I mean, men traditionally prefer not to talk about periods, Correct. prefer not to talk about sanitary pads. Correct. They're commodities that sit on the shelf in the supermarket, and as Correct. a bloke, you can push your trolley down and happily ignore them. The reality is that half the people in the world will have periods for a portion of their lives. Correct. Those don't need to be disabling as they might have been in Victorian times. Young women get embarrassed. So you then come up with a solution. Yes. Take me through that. All right. So we... we um we, I priced um, sanitary towels at, at one rand fifty uh, per sanitary towel per day, and the average girl is needing five, and they can't afford it. So we we just but the product had to be soft and feminine and pretty. So we designed a very very pretty product, where the 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 big benefit is we have. Um, uh, um, flannels that is double and you you fold it three times which becomes your pad but the, the young girl can take it out out of the shield that it's in put it in a plastic bag until she gets home and then wash it and she's got five of those um, per day the the, the consequences are that we're finding that one family is using it, you know, if they're two or three daughters, which um, was also an unintended consequence. It's an unintended consequence, yes. but the point is, it is a libera there is a level of liberation which comes with the ability to manage your body through, 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 through the cycle. Correct. And, and then, you know, as it snowballed, we had uh, um, um, UJ phoned, um, their students needed, uh, mental health we've, we've sold to. So, and, and those are fields I never thought about. I, I was targeting 2.1 million that I wanted to have made for these young girls between 12 and 18. This is capital intensive. I mean, you need money. Where does the first money for this project come from? Oh, Bruce, I have a brother who's a wealthy young man, not too interested in what I do. He says he's tired of me looking after <laughs> forgotten people. And I've had lots of schemes. And uh, when he saw it, he said, this one he'll back. This one he'll back. So thank you to my brother who... Um, and isn't it strange, a guy of all... A, a uh, absolutely. Guy. But, a guy. How is this finding then acceptance in the corporate environment? Because it should be a fairly easy sell. Um, you, you, you started off, you'd, you'd use Women's Month, I'm sure, and you yes, did. Yes, um, did. And you raised consciousness. Have you got big appetite for the project? You know what, Bruce... If, if I can, it's not, a, it's not a, a product that I can chat to people about because they can't visualize. Well, take it, it out is, the packet and show me. They can't visualize that it is pretty, that it is feminine. They think I'm selling, I'm, I'm not sure. So <laughs> when I find them, when I can sit with them, 
they're not embarrassed any longer and they will but I'm too impatient you know I, I want I, I, I don't all right so we've even we've tried to make it as colorful as, as possible we've also waterproofed the inner part for for extra you know so that the ladies have just got a little bit of extra protection we've tried to make them as colorful as, as possible and here is the old-fashioned sanitary towel I was telling you about this is a hundred percent flat that you now fold three times the young girl in, puts it in here into there and we advise them we advise them that if they're near a flushing toilet that the minute it, that they take it off to put it in the flushing toilet so that the worst stains otherwise they can put it in these little plastic bags that we give them uh, apart from the physiological elements of this this is a breakthrough in terms of young women's ability to be going to school for 20, 22 days a month as opposed to 17 days a month. And that has got to be the biggest breakthrough because this, in, this increases educational exposure by, by 15%. You know what, um, I have compiled a very simple survey because, you know, there's no point in, in giving it to these girls and we leave it there. So we go back after a month, we go through quite a lengthy process of telling them how to keep these things clean, um, these packs. And we go back after a month and we spend a lot of time in saying, how did you feel? How did your friends feel? And the only complaints I've ever had was that the bag is too big. <laughs> because of course they want it. But while they tell me that, when I see them, they're walking down the street swinging it as though it's a fashion accessory, you know, so um, I, I, I am... But this is a project... It's, it's, it's my an, life's it, work. But it's an evolution as well. And it's, and it's an evolution that could revolutionize the way people in poorer communities are able to become better educated over a period and of time. I wish I could tell you that it's my idea it's not my idea I you know went onto the internet and I saw lots of different ways and I mixed and matched and but I, I, I just I want to tell you about the other consequence that I never thought would ever happen I can't be in in Grahamstown and Grafrenet where I was last week and I can't be in Kroskop so we have now got ladies that are unemployed and we're training the ladies to make these things which was another it was a consequence i never even thought so i feel even better now because not only are we helping the girls but we're training women dignity dreams we must leave it there sandra miller thank you so much for telling us the story of how she is helping revolutionize south africa's education in a very unusual way